that's when I ran into uh, one of the men in the music business said to me, uh, listen, he said, why don't you take some lessons? And I said, what kind of lessons? He said, vocal lessons. He said, you know, guys do that. I said, well, uh, where do you find these guys? He said, there's a guy up over the brass rail when he said the restaurant. He said, his name is Quinlan. He said, he's an old drunk. He said, he used to be at the Met and he got kicked out of the Met. And he said, you ought to go up and talk to him. So I went up and he was surly. I think he was hung over anyway. He said, uh, who are you and how long have you been singing and uh, why do you want to be a singer and all that kind of stuff. I said, well, I like, I like to be a singer because I feel that uh, I have an idea about singing. Oh, he said, you already got an idea. He said, why do, we, why do you need me? I said, no, what I mean is I just need some direction. He said, I'll tell you what we'll do. If you can handle $3 a week, he said, I'll give you three lessons a week. And I started three lessons a week. And I couldn't wait to get there every, every time I had a lesson. I couldn't wait because I knew that I was learning something. He was teaching me the proper way to sing. I still use the same exercises, and then I developed some of my own. Matter of fact, I once put out a book with him. We put out a paperback vocal calisthenic book after I made it. And he had, we had drawings made of the mouth oh, formation. Right, you know, sure. The E sound and the O sound and the uh. And there's no such thing as an ah, what's wrong. Never sing ah, you sing ah. U-H. Ah. 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 That's a cough, cough, up the roof of the mouth into the mask. If you sing ah, it goes back into the throat and it can break, it can snap. Now, that's my first vocal lesson with you. Now, I'm ready. And you'll get a bill next week. <laughs> I worked with him for a long time, and then I began to get the jobs. 